at the start of the pandemic, we prioritised our existing caseloads uh, with regular welfare calls. We also contacted the people on our waiting list to make sure that they were doing okay as well. Um, we found information on exercise classes, cooking classes, um, learning online just to keep people active and busy mentally and physically. As lockdown eased, uh, we started visiting our existing caseload and new um, people, introducing back in the community, whether it be a walk, a social distance sitting in the garden just for a chat to catch up because they've got nobody else to talk to, um, helping them with forms, going for coffee. At the start of lockdown, we help people with prescriptions as well as delivering distraction packs for people that were stuck in and struggling with their mental health. We also supported local food banks, delivering parcels as well as delivering PPE for those that are receiving direct payments. Recently, we've started working with people doing travel training and have recently engaged people into community-based education. Part of our role during lockdown has been to increase people's confidence in the community and we've done this in a number of ways. We've started off by walking people um, around the local communities just for short walks to build up their confidence and getting used to being outside again. Um, it's been really successful and the feedback we've had is that this has been really appreciated. We have also recently resumed our ladies coffee afternoon um, which has been greatly missed. If it wasn't for you phoning me every week I wouldn't have got through it. I've got no family so it's been an absolute lifeline for me. You know having you at the end of the phone has been a lifeline because if I'm in desperate need to talk to somebody you've been there so it's been wonderful. My group stopped and I couldn't attend anything because of the lockdown and due to yourself I've been able to come out and do what I've wanted to do for years by painting outside so yeah it's been fabulous. Uh, during the lockdown Community Connectors helped me because I've had a phone call every week off one of the connectors to make sure I'm doing all right and with support with things that uh, help that I needed and uh, one of the other connectors helped me to get a food bank delivery when I was having financial troubles because my money was messed about with during the start of the lockdown. Sort of become less anxious with with going out. I can go distances with whereas before I could only go about 50 yards and I'd start having panic attacks. Now I could walk probably a, a mile, half a mile. Um, they've helped me to better myself with the way I speak verbally. They've helped me with my finances, helping me with forms that I can't do. And altogether, they've just been amazing. Couldn't fault them. Hi, my name's Zoe Williams and I'm the independent living broker for Torvine County Borough Council. Um, in these challenging times of COVID-19, the community connectors have done an absolutely fantastic job to keep in touch with those socially isolated and vulnerable in the community. They've all undertaken different aspects of how they can support people. Some of that is using Teams, Microsoft, Zoom, uh, supporting people on the telephone, and all I can say is thank you to them for their continued hard work.